Hello guys, welcome to 2024. We made it to the T. Oh. Welcome to 2024. We made it to 2024. This is the first time I'm doing a New Year's video, so oh, proud of myself. Uh huh. So here we are. Here we are. I hope you're excited for the new year, like I am. I'm so excited. Actually, I don't think I've ever been so excited over. I'm about a year, like the way I am right now. I'm so expectant for the year. I hope you are too. Um, however, I want to acknowledge that there are some people who maybe got into the year 2024 not as happy or not as excited or as jubilant as we did. Maybe something tragic happened and I want to acknowledge that and I want to tell you that, you know, the Holy Spirit is there. He's the God of all comfort. He's there to support us in any way we need. You know, He's there to comfort us. He's there to, to uplift us. Like I know people lost maybe loved ones before they crossed over 2024 and my heart goes out to all of you the holy spirit is always there to restore you back to to your joy restore you back to the person that you were before that happened and um you know our hearts goes out to you um at the same time um raise your expectation for the new year raise your expectation know that god is really ahead of you he's at the end calling us forth you know so this is going to be a good year doesn't matter how it began doesn't matter how last year ended this is already going to be a good year amen amen so for me i thank the lord that last year was a wonderful year for me personally um i had highs many highs and i had a few lows which i thank god for so for me 2022 the year before last year uh, we went through losses up and up and i lost a loved one and all that so i went into 2023 not really expecting much to be honest but god is so faithful because honestly i did that but god has been so faithful he blesses us because he's god because he's a good god if us who are bad we give our children good things how much more him who is good who is perfect like Hannah Ubaya is going to give you a good portion for the year so i thank god 23 had good portions for me so so good that i just want to testify about them not brag but testify about them right we defeat the devil by the power of our testimony you know when we share our testimony we remind him of how you know it, it's a reminder to ourselves of how good god is and how much if, if God was able to do this, how much more will he do for me this year? We go from glory to glory. The path of righteousness it shines brighter, brighter and brighter, brighter and brighter. So if 2023 was bright, now this is going to be a brighter year. So go into this year having an expectation, having, having something you're desiring from the Lord. Because the Lord is faithful. Whatever he's beginning right now in January, you bring it to completion to pray about them because whatever you receive in prayer you have to sustain it through prayer so i don't want to talk much about all that but i just want to share how my 2023 was so this is a recap of my 2023 and also my expectations for 2024 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let me start i wrote them down because i needed to be organized for uh, for this video count your blessings one by one you'll see that there were so many blessings so many things i can't even explain in this one video i'm just going to mention a few which are of worthy mention and which i know are the most blessing to me last year i think i have grown more as a person there's a big difference between how i was in 2022 and right now my mentality has shifted my confidence has grown i'm just so happy for the woman that i am right now and guess how much more i will be in 2025 right the fact that i'm also growing age-wise that comes with its own wisdom i've learned so much from the people around me i've learned how to, to handle people i've learned how to handle situations i used to be reactive but now i think i am more proactive in many facets of my life for example by the grace of god god just opened a door for me i got a job i'm an editor at kelly mall and i thank god so much i do videography i do video editing I post on mostly TikTok is where you'll see most of my work. So you can check Kilimall's TikTok. You'll see my hands there. You'll see most of my work is there. So I thank God so much. And you can apply like uh, like two months, three months before. Or can I be? I have to finish school first, and then they will call me. So when I heard that, I was like, Ah, oh, they will call me. Okay, let me see. And I just left it at that. You can be a God. Maybe God, if this job is for me, come on, come my job do me care. So I, I thank God. They, they actually called me back. Imagine, and I just finished my schooling. 
So I I went. I went into just so miraculous and I thank God. I moved as I had Alia said that I would move. I moved to a whole different county. And now I am living far away from my parents. Can you imagine? Which has been also a process by itself, has been a growth process by itself. And I'm like, I'm okay. I'm growing. I'm thriving. I'm working. I'm a working class now. I thank God. It's my first job. So the, those, those challenges are first jobs, are kuzoea, the work environment, kuzoea, working with people of different personalities, being under authority and all that, that has been a learning process. You know, when I went to the job market, I, I was a young, naive young girl from campus. I was reactive. I'm telling you guys, I was so reactive. I would, I would cry. I would, I would feel bad. Oh, oh my God. But now I think I am a bit more mature emotionally. I'm able to control myself, know that work is work and this is this. My work um, goals is I want to be even more confident in my skills. Um, I want to be able to speak out more respectfully and vocalize my ideas and all that. Um, yeah, so ooh, that's a long one. So I haven't been uploading much your time because you know because of work commitments and all that but i am looking for a way around that but i don't want my job to take away from what i'm doing on youtube i want you to supplement it right yes so that is my career wise i thank god for that huge step right so number two i grew up i'm an adult now guys i'm i'm adulting full-time adulting is my full-time job uh, for me adulting is not a bad thing it's a good thing to grow up. Adulting is good. You want to remain a child forever. No. And by the grace of God, we are pulling through. With a new year comes a new age. So that is also something. And you embrace it. You know, you embrace it. I mean, you want to remain a child forever. So just embrace it and move on. I thank God I'm becoming more womanly, guys. Oh my God. I'm stepping into my femininity even more. I am learning how to put on makeup, how to do my hair, how to maintain my hair, wearing watches. Like, guys, oh my God. This is a learning process and um, imagine I'm embracing it. Imagine embrace even yours as well. Embrace your season. You know, embrace your season. Embrace it even as you look forward to the next level, right? So now, before I talk too much about that, let me talk about my spiritual journey. Ah, that has been the best journey of all. Something happened. Something just, something clicked and I thank God it clicked because, woo. You know, when you're working in darkness, you don't know you're working in darkness until light comes. So I think the first thing that happened that really changed, it changed everything about me is I got baptized. So I got water baptized in 2023 on June 3rd. So that is my second birthday. <laughs> June, no, not birthday. That is the day that I died, actually. So Nikki is dead. This is Christ living in me, guys. Oh my God. I didn't know much about baptism, but all I knew is that something in me is going to die. Devil, who is no longer me, is somebody else. So now let us start. Tuanze are fresh. Tuanze are fresh. Let us see what you'll accuse me of, right? That day, henceforth, I was a new being. Something was just clicked. Something 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 in the direction of Jesus Christ, ah, that was amazing. I went on missions, like high school missions. I went to high schools. We've been preaching in high schools. Someone comes to you and tells you deep stuff about themselves and they expect that you're going to know the answer. It challenged me. It challenged my capacity, my ability. Like you think you know, but do you know? I met some young girls who would come and share with me deep stuff. They would cry and I just comfort them. By the grace of God, I'd speak life back into them by the grace of God. Like someone would come to me crying and then they leave there laughing. That was just amazing. This is what Jesus and the disciples would feel every day. Changing people's lives every day. Like this must have been so fulfilling for them. And this is what I'm doing now. Like, So if you have a school and you want to come up and say you want us to come speak to if there's a school you want us to go talk to please you can just reach out to me and we will come to your school we don't even charge we don't charge anything we just call us like it is our joy to just share this gospel for free if you feel like appreciating us it is, it is okay it is okay but just know that we don't charge the word just opened up to me the word opened up to me in a way that i I, I don't think has ever happened. That is just a summary of my spiritual journey so far in 2023. So something else that happened in 2023. So when you become an adult, you do adult things. You do adult stuff. 
you meet adult people you have adult relationships i don't think comes with going on dates guys with godly people with godly men yeah why not i think i should share that but do it in the light so if you see me out there on a date don't be shocked <laughs> actually it's a good thing that you saw me you know because i'm doing it in the light you know how to meet kwa nyumba you know what i mean so if you're going to date guys date in the light in a way that people can be able to trace how ako happy how they dated how they did their things like it is out in the open so above all the best thing that happened to me they say that i graduated i'm going to plaster the photos everywhere i mean no sit properly like a graduate so graduate sit like yeah 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 <laughs> i have a bachelor's degree in communication and media studies so everything media everything communication everything pertaining pr and all that i'm i'm here for you oh i graduated from ku that was a sick to rise guys that was not easy i finished i finished in in good time you know when you do something do it in the right time that was up and you're located for it you know come only focus on for four years so for four years stop stop delaying yourself stop delaying yourself by making bad bad choices up on a pallet go by the plan of god did all my projects all my cuts i didn't have any retakes ever since first year since they finally retake i did it guys i finished but this is just the beginning i'm looking forward to more 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 academic achievements because you know we need to study to show ourselves approved you know so study more and more and more the more you study the more you show yourself approved the more you become a master at something the more you become a uh, an expert at something because you have you you studied it you've learned it you are doing it so that means there's a level of credibility in whatever you're doing that is what i aspire to be i want to study to show myself approved also for my youtube family we hit 1k subscribers that is something else that i'm so happy about so i thank god for 2023 welcome to 2024 it's going to be an amazing 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 year because God is really ahead of us. He is with us. And yeah, I thank the Lord. He has been awesome to me. And I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to shout it. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so much. This year we are doing better on our YouTube. We will we will do better. We will do better by the way. Nikki we are we are doing better, right? Yes. So right now I have a support system who are keeping me on toes. So, support system support system you will support system me so yeah <laughs> thank you for watching so much guys i love you i'll see you in the next video right i'll be in the next video you will okay.